One of the really neat widgets in Matrix is going to be the Market Watch widget. Now you should be able to locate this one really easily at the top center of Matrix. And you will see it does list out new listings, price increases, price decreases, what's back on market, what has sold, what's expired, what's leased, uh, leased option, pending, temporary off the market, and withdrawn. By default, it is going to be set for residential properties, but you could change this to any other property type in Matrix if you want to. And the time frame is going to also be set to 24 hours, but you can also adjust this if necessary. You can either go 24 hours back, you can go to, to just what's new today, that means since midnight last night, going back three days or seven days just to keep an eye on your market. One of the things you will notice when you come into the market watch for the first time is this is already set up for you, but the system is treating your market as the entire MLS area. So let me show you the map here. All right, so if you're in Orlando, you probably don't do a lot of driving to Punta Gorda and vice versa. If you're in Punta Gorda, probably don't do a lot of driving to Orlando here because these are different areas of this MLS here. So what you need to do is go in and tell the system what you would define your market as. It's really easy to do. And once you set it up once, you're done. You don't constantly have to go in and tweak this. Now, I would not recommend to be super detailed here. This is gonna be in general. So when you go into the customize button right here, you have to tell the system what criteria you would use to define what your market is. Imagine if you were to run into somebody at random, like a grocery store or uh, out in public, you meet somebody and they ask you, they see your realtor tag and they ask you, well, what areas do you work in? How you answer that question is what you would want to define your market as. So I don't want to be too specific here. I don't want to say I just work in a certain county or I just work in a certain city or a certain zip code and I only work with properties with four bedrooms or something like that. Don't be that specific. You can be, you can use any criteria. Maybe you have a specialty that you want to. You can add additional fields just like you would in Matrix. But what I would recommend is just to keep this nice and easy. I would recommend using the map, the map here. Now you can use this tool right here and define that your market is a quarter mile all the way up to 25 miles out from a specific address right here. I could do that, but I am a little limited based on that specific address, but I could start there if I wanted to. So I could go in, put in my address and say, this is where my home base is, my office is. And when I hit enter, it's gonna say map area selected. So I can go here, set this to 25 miles here. And if I go to the map, this is gonna draw a circle on there. So I could do this a couple different ways. I could go back to the map search if I want to. Maybe I'm willing to go out a little bit more than 25 miles. Well, when I come to the map, if I take my mouse and I mouse over the circle here, a little blue dot shows up. And if I left click and hold, I can make my market bigger. So let's say I'm willing to go out 40 miles in any direction from this particular location or 10 miles or 60 miles or 100 miles. It's whatever area you want to be in. I could also accomplish the same thing if I were to put the address here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete this one by mousing over the red dot here. I could also go here, type in the same address if I wanted to. Hit the locate button. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit with my mouse wheel. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on draw radius. And I can accomplish the same thing if I just click here, drag the circle out and say, here is my market here. So we'll go out 40 miles. So you've got two ways to do this. You can either do it right from the criteria screen, or if you click on the map search, this will take you to the map and you can go in and define it here. Okay, so it's either put it in here or put it in the map search. Once I put in the criteria for how I define my market as, I can go ahead and I can click on save and I'm done. I never have to touch this again. This will always update every time I log into Matrix showing me what's new, what's expired, what's sold, and all of these other statuses in my local market area. Now you can't break this because you can always go back here, click on reset, and this is gonna take you back to the default, which would be the entire MLS area. So go in and set up your market watch. You only have to do it once.